tomorrow, that's a four-month low. Lots of data out today. Americans made more money in June. Personal incomes rose four-tenths of one percent, but we spent less of it. Consumer spending up only half that amount. That's the smallest increase in four months. U.S. construction spending in June up just one-tenth of one percent, and manufacturing was a little lower. The July, though, a terrific month for sales of autos. Sales at Ford up 5% from June of last year thanks to the F-Series pickup truck. GM sales rose 6% thanks to the Chevy Silverado. And blowout sales of Jeeps helping Fiat Chrysler's overall sales rise more than 6%. Tom Busby, CNBC. Have you had trouble with online dating? This is eHarmony founder Dr. Neil Clark Warren. We've created a new solution, EH+. EH Plus combines the personal attention of a matchmaker with eHarmony's extensive pool of great singles. EH Plus gives you hand-selected matches and freedom from being online. Get started today. Call 855-930-LOVE. That's 855-930-LOVE. Shaquille O'Neal for Icy Hot. If you've got pain... You need the patch. The Icy Hot Patch. Powerful, targeted, fast-acting pain relief that stays put without the mess. Icy to dull the pain, hot to relax it away. In a variety of sizes, from back, shoulders, knees, even arthritis. So you're covered whenever and wherever you hurt. Stop pain right at the source with Icy Hot Patches. Pain's no match for the Icy Hot Patch. For temporary topical pain relief, use only as directed. Here's all you need to know. There's a new cool way to sell your unwanted stuff online. It's buysellmakeoffer.com. Buysellmakeoffer.com. You're not going to believe it. Join the legions of web sellers and buyers who are turning to buysellmakeoffer.com today. Never pay fees again. For low monthly membership of $7.95, you can sell up to 50 items, and there's a 60-day free trial membership to get you started. You can even produce your own infomercial to sell your products and upload the video for the world to see. Go right now to buysellmakeoffer.com. Good afternoon, 12.02. I'm Di Rice with the very latest in live local news here on KCAA 1050 AM. Coroner officials have released the names of the two Fontana 20-year-olds killed when their car collided with a cement truck in San Bernardino last week. Jesus Ramos and passenger Deanna Venejas died at the scene of the 10.52 a.m. wreck Monday along West Baseline, west of California Street. Ramos was driving a blue 2009 Honda Civic. Police say it appears that he swerved to avoid debris in the roadway. His vehicle was then broadsided by a fully loaded cement truck. The preliminary investigation showed no sign of speeding or the use of alcohol or drugs. And a deadly crash that abruptly ended an aerial photography flight has been blamed on pilot error. The National Transportation Safety Board announced Friday its finding of probable cause of the August 2013 crash near Lake Tamarisk that killed Michael Sear and Randall Jeffrey, both of Blythe. The NTSB determined that Sear entered the accelerated stall and subsequently lost control of the single engine plane. The crash occurred in the same area of a powerful storm a day earlier that knocked down 55 utility poles. And local police agencies are urging citizens to join Tuesday's National Night Out. This brings neighbors together to meet each other and have a meaningful discussion about how they can ultimately prevent the core causes of crime. National Night Out is a platform for neighbors to begin to build trust among each other and the police department and to feel comfortable about reporting acts of crime. San Bernardino Mayor Carrie Davis will join members of the San Bernardino Police Department, residents, faith-based institutions and businesses at the Sandalwood Apartments located at 1520 Sepulveda from 5 to 7 tomorrow night. Officers have recently formed the Taking Back Our Neighborhood Streets Alliance. Inland Empire weather sunny and warm throughout the week. Highs into the mid-90s and overnight lows into the upper 60s. Currently 88 in San Bernardino. Checking out your drive. Looks like you've got an accident on the 15 northbound at Highway 138, so that is through the Cajon Pass. And then, uh, uh, wow, an accident in two lanes of the 15 southbound just past 138. And again, that is in the Cajon Pass. The injury crash blocking the bypass lanes. So if you're going southbound, do not take the bypass lanes on your way down. 
The far left lane on the northbound side is also closed, but that does not affect the uh, crossover lane. So there you go. That is the very latest with news, weather, and traffic on the station that leaves no listener behind, KCAA 1050 AM. Learn time-proven techniques to enhance your relationships. Join Dr. Michelle Skeen for Relationships 2.0. Michelle's guest will be Alan Fox, author of People Tools for Love and Relationships, this Tuesday at 3 on Relationships 2.0 on KCAA 1050 AM. You can be intentional about your character, your work ethic. You've got to be on the same page. Today we're calling to let you know we are debt-free, house and everything. You have done really, really, really good, and you're not going to quit now. It's been a huge witness for us to be able to share that. It was time to get serious. Intentionality, people. <laughs> the success. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is your show, America. If I knew at 22 what I know now, our life would be better off. It's the show that's changing the world. Now you don't just listen to the show, you live it. Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host. This is your show, America. Thank you for joining us. Open phones this hour. The phone number is 888-825-5225. That's 888-825-5225. You jump in. We'll talk about your life and your money. Cincinnati, Ohio starts off this hour. Francesca is with us. Hi, Francesca. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, I have a question. I just recently left a large university uh, where I was paying into state retirement, and I am taking a job with the city that I'll be paying into their retirement. And I didn't know if I should take, I had the opportunity to take out my retirement without penalty, and I didn't know if I should do that and pay off my debt and put what I would be paying towards my debt in a savings account or roll that retirement over into another. Why would you be able to take it out without penalty? I was not with the university for five years, so therefore I was not vested with the university. Okay, but so it, it, it does have an IRS penalty on it. The university is not going to charge you a penalty, but you will have a an IRS penalty for cashing out a retirement early. Okay. So I would roll that to an IRA as a direct transfer rollover. All that means is you pick out the mutual funds that you want in your IRA, and you move the money directly from the university into that mutual fund. Do not let them write the check to you because they are required to withhold on it for tax purposes. The penalty that you're referring okay. to is, is they're not going to penalize you for uh, the amount that the university gives you. But the, uh, but the IRS will give you a 10% penalty plus your tax rate. And so if you don't have a good mutual fund broker to help you do that, just go to DaveRamsey.com and click on ELP for investing, and they'll help you uh, do that direct transfer rollover into some mutual funds. Thanks, Francesca. By the way, in those situations, in an IRA or a rollover or a 401k or wherever you're selecting your options, if you haven't heard, uh, we recommend you spread your investing across four types of mutual funds. And I put a fourth in each. A growth fund, a growth and income fund, an aggressive growth stock mutual fund, and a, um, an international stock mutual fund. All of these are stock mutual funds. You're putting money in stock in companies in the mutual funds. And uh, if you have the option of selecting, like in an IRA, you can select from 8,000 different mutual funds, then you want to find a mutual fund that has at least a 10-year track record and that has outperformed the S&P 500. Otherwise, you would just invest in the S&P 500. 
but um, a lot of people out there, there's this whole movement now, passive investing it's called, which the word passive around anything I do really doesn't fit me, so I try not to do that. But, uh, you know, passive investing is, well, I can't beat the market, so I'm just going to surrender and buy an S&P 500. S&P 500 fund exactly mirrors the market, the stock market. So whatever the stock market does, your stuff's going to do. It's not going to do better. It's not going to do worse. Uh, I have plenty of mutual funds that have outperformed the S&P. They're really not that hard to find. Uh, people have written books and are saying, oh, you know, 96%. Well, bull crap. It's just not true. Uh, you can find mutual funds that have outperformed the S&P. And so if you can't find one, then just go to one of our endorsed local providers and they'll show you a handful of them in each of those categories. So that's what we recommend you do. Gail is with us in Oklahoma City. Hi, Gail. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? Wonderful. I had a couple questions about retirement. Mm -hmm. I am 63. My husband's 65. We're going to retire in two years. And we are ready. We, we are debt-free. We paid off our house in December. Yay! And uh, we are looking at retirement strategies. So we have two set before us. One of them, we went to your, well, let me first tell you, I have a 401k that has around $215,000 in it. Then we have a little uh, IRA that my husband didn't even know he had for $5,000 that he, when he worked long ago that he had. Mm -hmm. Plus, I have a state retirement of $522 a month that I'm already getting that's going into a money market account just to build up our uh, six to nine months. Mm -hmm. of uh, income, mm -hmm. and it's got around uh, seventeen or 18000 in it right now. Okay. But my question is, we have talked to your ELP, mm -hmm. who says that we should go ahead and move part of the money, like 165000 I can move right now, mm -hmm. and invest it. And when Richard gets to be 66, he should go ahead and take his Social Security. Then when I get to be 66, take our Social Security. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Yearly, we would meet to determine how much percentage of this investment that we would take out monthly, I guess you want to say. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have the extra amount above the 165 that I can take up now that we would then roll over into that investment. I missed the 165. I got 215. Where was the 165? That's the amount I can take out right now since I'm over 59 and move it somewhere else without oh, a penalty. Oh, I see. Okay. Without a penalty. I see. So he's saying go ahead and move that now, and yeah. then when I retire, we would move the rest. Okay. The right. other retirement strategy is uh, with a different company, and mm -hmm. what they're suggesting is an annuity. Mm -hmm. Now, this annuity is set up differently than most annuities I've heard you talk about because mm -hmm. it would be paying us, and again, the same amount could be rolled over into it, mm -hmm. but it would give us $832 a month mm -hmm. for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. If both of us, if one of us should die, it would continue to pay that 832 mm -hmm. If one of us gets where we don't have... We can't do two activities of daily living. It would double for five years. Mm -hmm. And um, it progressively decreased. It would pay our beneficiaries mm -hmm. a certain amount till up till I turn 93 if I'm still alive by then. And it's going to disappear at that? And then it's going to disappear when I turn 93. Okay. No, that's a piece but, of but crap. But they still pay us the 832 a month. That's a piece of crap. That's a 5% rate of return on your money, and they're draining your account. Okay, that was my, you know, it sounds good because it, they have a whole. Well, it doesn't sound good. It's ten thousand dollars a year. On, it's ten thousand dollars a year return on two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, and the two hundred fifteen thousand dollars disappears. So they're paying you like three percent on your money or less. I think I think they told us like five or six percent. I think their math is wrong. And I mean, all you, you know, listen. Let me ask you this: Do you know how to uh -huh. divide divide ten thousand dollars into two hundred thousand? That's five percent. Okay. And your money's disappearing. This is correct. You're not getting 5% then, are you? Not if the money's disappearing. There you go. It's not rocket science. Well, what made us think about this is that it's, you know, guaranteed rather than, well, if the market... That's a guaranteed piece of crap, yeah. Well, I guess you've answered that question then. <laughs> yeah, it's trash. <laughs> no wonder it's guaranteed. That's a deal for them. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, this is El Chab Dog of Chab Dog Sports Talk. Join me every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. for anything and everything sports related. Chab Dog Sports Talk, Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. on the station that leaves no listener behind. 
KCA, 10.50 a.m. CAA. Discover the wonders from the land down under at the Australian Outback San Diego Zoo's latest exhibit. Here you'll encounter wombats, wallabies, kookaburras, cockatoos, and koalas. You'll be at eye level with seven different marsupials, and you may even encounter koala joeys on their mom's backs. San Diego Zoo's Australian Outback is also home to 25 colorful bird species. Watch these beautiful creatures in the land down under. The new Australian Outback at San Diego Zoo. For more information, go to San Diego DiegoZoo.org. From the latest movies and TV shows to comedy and music, we cover it all on the Beat Pod Show with me, Brad Dalius, each and every week, Sunday at 11 p.m. and Monday at 3 p.m. Here on CNBC, KCAA, 1050 a.m., the station that leaves no listener behind. If you can't seem to stay ahead of your bills, then this message is for you. How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt, medical bills, and department store debt forgiven? National Credit Card Relief would like to give you free information on a proven debt forgiveness program. This program has been used by thousands to legally forgive millions in unsecured debt. It's not bankruptcy. It's not consolidation. This special program actually wipes clean the portion of your debt that is forgiven from what you owe your creditors. Call for free information and get all your questions answered in the first free call. The more you owe, the more you can save. If you have at least $10,000 or more in credit card bills, this debt forgiveness program can be very effective. Call for free information and find out more now. 800-546-2909. There is no cost or obligation for the information. Don't wait. Call 800-546-2909. That's 800-546-2909. Get your debt problem solved. Call 800-546-2909 today. It's time for some delicious food at Pizza Dilly. Pizza Dilly Pizza in Colton, home of the famous two foot pizza with 32 slices of simply the best delicious Pizza Dilly mouth watering pizza. Pizza Dilly has all kinds of lunch specials Monday through Friday starting at $3.99, all delicious. Stop by, refresh, refuel, have a cold drink, enjoy a tasty salad or a great specialty delicious sub sandwich or simply delightful Pizza Dilly wings. Pizza Dilly is also a people dilly because you're friends are all already there enjoying one of Pizza Dilly's giant screens, watching one of their favorite teams, and if you love the Dodgers, you'll love Pizza Dilly, your hometown Dodger station all year round. Come on in, enjoy a great pizza, enjoy Pizza Dilly, the real Dilly deal at 194 East Valley Boulevard in Colton or call 909-370-0242. Once again, that's 909-370-0242. I want to keep my lawn. 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 We We want want to keep keep our lawn. lawn. This is Rob from the Water Zone Show. Tune us in every Thursday evening at 6 p.m. and we'll tell you how to keep your lawn while reducing your landscape water usage. The Water Zone on KCAA 1050 AM. of Ramsey Solutions. Dave and Jen are with us. Hey, guys, how are you? Hi, Hi good. Welcome, welcome. Where do you guys live? Uh, near Milwaukee, Elkhorn, but near Milwaukee. Bit of a haul to Nashville. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the way here to do your debt-free scream. How much yes. have you paid off? Um, altogether, about $110,000. Wow. And how long did that take you? 
About six and a half years. Okay. Is that your house and everything? Uh, no. No. Okay. And what were you making average through that six and a half years? Uh, we started about 80000 and um, we're now about 90000 Excellent. Okay. And so uh, what kind of debt was the 110000 Um Well, a lot was student loans and cars, um, and then a lot of credit card debt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so tell me the story. What happened six and a half years ago, and why did it take so long? That's a long run. Well, um, it started because we got tired of being in debt. Mm -hmm. And it took six and a half years because it took six and a half years to really learn all the lessons that needed to be learned as far as uh, recognizing um, really what bondage debt can be and mm -hmm. that... Uh, so Think, you were a little bit uh, more lackadaisical at the start and a little more well, intense at the end? Or? To, to, to borrow from your terminology, I refer to us as asthmatic gazelles for a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. But uh, it's six and a half years later, there's uh, no way that um, we'd want to go back to that. So. Yeah, my, my chiropractor offered... Um, financing in case mm -hmm. our insurance didn't cover everything and i was like oh my uh, um, i have to go i'm sorry i can't do this right now <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, i'm gonna need psychological counseling from the chiropractor uh, <laughs> and then uh, also for our trip down here um we made the drive in a truck that uh we bought in january that we paid cash for, for the first, first time. ever cash car Yay. and uh, we uh, we haven't named it yet, okay. Um, but it's uh, just another example of you know just changing your mindset towards um, things and uh, making good decisions financially. So, what are your girls' ages and names? This is Olivia. She's eight years old, and then this is Hattie, and she's six. Okay, so. Basically, the two of them have grown up the entire time with you guys working your way through this. Yeah, yeah. and you know, and, and we were talking about how this has been an important process for us to learn, mm -hmm. but even more so, it's been important because we didn't really grow up learning about money, and mm -hmm. we had to find out the hardware, hard way. And for these guys, I mean, we're teaching them now, and so they're going to grow up being wise with money and being able to do what God wants them to do with their money and be amazing women and amazing givers that's awesome. Yeah, that's changing your family tree right yeah. there, asthmatic or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Very well done, you guys. Very well done. So what do you tell people the key? If you had it to do over, is there anything you'd do different? Let me ask you that first. Um, I think, that, I mean, and everybody says this too, is that being on the same page, you have to work together. And and find a common ground. You know, I mean, could we have gotten out of debt faster than six and a half years? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have. We were not on scorched earth. Mm -hmm. But when we were doing our budget, there were things that Dave said, you know, no, this is really important to me that we have this in the budget. And there were things that I could have done without, but it was important to him and vice versa. There were things that were really important to me that he said, okay, well, then we're going to put it in the budget. And as long as we both understand, yes, it puts off our goals a little bit longer, mm -hmm. it was worth it. Okay. Very cool. The good news is you're working together. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a big thing. And it wasn't one of you trying to pull the other one by the hair through the thing or something like that. No. And so you stayed on task. You stayed there, and you finished. You finished yes. the race. Yep. That's very cool. Well, congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Very well done. How does it feel now that you're finally here? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. My um, my group. Um, I, I lead FPU right now too, and we have one more lesson left, and so they're all excited that we're down here and. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the great things has been because we've been in working through this process for so long is that I've had things to be able to share with them that like, oh, this is what we thought. And they're like, oh, we think that too. And okay, well, this is how we got over it. And, mm. you know, it's been, and so if we can, if we can help people, other people from the experiences that we've had, then it's worth it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You'll be great coordinators. Yeah. yeah, you will. Thank you for leading a class right now. There's a ton of need out there. We're getting hammered. People wanting to go to these classes and we need more and more classes. So thank you. Thank you for leading. We appreciate it. Very well done, you two. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations. Very proud of you. Thank so you. have the girls been practicing all the way from Milwaukee, their debt free scream? Well, they, we didn't <laughs> practice we didn't practice on the way here, but um whenever we'd run errands and go different places, the girls would be like, Can we can we practice our scream? So we'd 
practice it in the car at oh, different places. There you go. That's good. Make people at stoplights freak out. That's oh, a good yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. Dave and Jen, Olivia and Hattie, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, $110. Thousand dollars paid off, six and a half years, making eighty to ninety thousand a year. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. All right, three, two, one. We're debt-free. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Well done, you guys. Fabulous. Congratulations. Very proud of you. Well, our question of the day comes from blinds.com. If you need your windows to keep out the August heat as well as the winter cold, well, then get insulating cellular shades from blinds.com. You can take your pick of single or double or triple cell thickness while lowering your energy bills year-round. Great deals at blinds.com. Today's question comes from Harold in Georgia. Uh, he says, I want to set a budget and use the envelopes, but I'm very behind on some of my bills. How do I get started? Well, the uh, budget and the envelopes, neither one require you to be current to start. All a budget is, is on paper, you're going to tell this month's income where it's going to go. That's all a budget is. So, I, I don't, you know, what are you going to do with your money this month? You have X number of dollars coming in. You're going to buy food, write that number down. You're going to pay your lights and water, write that number down. You're going to spend a lot of the money catching up on things. What are you going to do with this month's money this month? Write that down on paper. Give every one of those dollars an assignment and be in agreement with your spouse. And if you're behind, your first goal is, of course, pay minimums on stuff and certainly food, shelter, clothing, transportation, and utilities. You take care of those things first, then you catch up on things. If you're behind on any of those things, like you're behind on your house payment or your rent, you got to get that caught up fast. You're behind on your utilities, you got to get that caught up fast. That's more important than MasterCard or student loans. They come later. You'll catch, catch them up last. But uh, you get caught up a, as a part of doing the budget. The same thing's true with the envelope system. You don't have to wait till you're caught up to start the envelope system. Let me explain what I mean. Today, without a budget, you put money in the checking account and you go to the grocery store and you write a check for groceries or you use your debit card for groceries. All I want you to do is put money in your checking account, write yourself a check for groceries, cash the check, same amount of money going out as you would have had going out anyway. So you just cash the, instead of writing it to the grocery store, you write it to yourself, you cash the check, you put the cash in the envelope and you write food on that envelope. And then you don't buy food anywhere except from the food envelope and you don't buy anything out of the food envelope except everybody say it with me, food. That's it. And so you don't have to first be current to do a budget or to do the envelope system. Neither one is necessary. All you're doing is making money you already have going out behave in both cases. You put money in the clothing envelope, you don't spend money on anything except clothing. And if you're broke and trying to catch up, you're probably not buying hardly any clothing. Probably what's in your closet will do for a little while. I mean, you, most people have plenty of clothes. So you got to take care of food. That's an envelope. You don't need to be having a big entertainment budget if you're behind on stuff. So you don't need to have an entertainment envelope. If you're doing your car gasoline on an envelope, you can do that. Because you're going to be driving the car anyway. So what are you going to already be spending on car gas? You can put that in an envelope. It makes you realize what you are spending or aren't spending. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. This is KCAA. California Headline News. Some progress on the battle against the Rocky Fire in Northern California's Lake County. 12% containment on the fire. It's burned more than 60,000 acres, a fire that grew at an unprecedented rate. 20,000 acres burned in just a five-hour period. That's a, a historical, unprecedented uh, rate of spread for a wildfire. And unfortunately, we still have uh, several more months of fire season ahead of us. Andrew Berlant with Cal Fire. More than two dozen homes destroyed by the fire. Thousands still threatened and thousands remain evacuated. Bizarre story in 
involving the disappearance of a 44-year-old Special Olympics athlete, a man turning up safe overnight at police headquarters in Hayward, hundreds of miles from the USC campus where the man was last seen Saturday. They determined that he was hungry. They got someone to talk to him, and, and then they tracked it down over about a two-hour period. Um, they figured out who he was and where he was from. Jeff Carr with Special Olympics, an Oakland police officer recovering from gunshot wounds sustained while pursuing a suspect who was killed. Geica weather mostly dry and cooler. Jeff Scott, California News. Once upon a time, in a not-so-distant suburb, a handyman set out to put up a mailbox. The new cottage owners were anxious to get everything ready for their wicked step-parents' visit. Once, twice, thrice he drilled, and as he dug, sparks began to fly, and the village went dark. Uh -oh. The moral, to avoid a grim situation, always call 811 before you dig. Learn more at call811.com. I'm Jay Farner with some great news on how you could save an average of $3,000 per year on your mortgage. Call Quicken Loans now at 800-QUICKEN to see if you qualify for the government's Home Affordable Refinance Program, or HARP. The HARP guidelines have changed. There's less paperwork and often no appraisal required. Call 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN, or visit quickenloans.com. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. and law number 3030. Learn time-proven techniques to enhance your relationships. Join Dr. Michelle Skeen for Relationships 2.0. Michelle's guest will be Alan Fox, author of People Tools for Love and Relationships, this Tuesday at 3 on Relationships 2.0 on KCAA 1050 AM. Are you particular about the vitamins and supplements you take? Have you found that the big chain stores simply don't have what you need? Then you should know about the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. You'll find rock bottom prices on gourmet top quality vitamins and mineral supplements at the Vitamin Center. Get 30% off on all supplements and homeopathic products. All, not just selected merchandise. In addition, you'll find 30% off on all cosmetics, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, makeup, hair coloring, and lip gloss. And all tea products are discounted 20%. Why go anywhere else? See for yourself at the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills, 5007 Canaan Road in Agora Hills, or check out the savings and place your order online, vitamincenteragorahills.com. Start saving by getting what you need from the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills, and tell a friend that the Vitamin Center ships nationwide. Call 818-707-0005. That's 818-707-0005. The Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. It's time for some delicious food at Pizza Dilly. Pizza Dilly Pizza in Colton, home of the famous two foot pizza with 32 slices of simply the best delicious Pizza Dilly mouth watering pizza. Pizza Dilly has all kinds of lunch specials Monday through Friday starting at $3.99, all delicious. Stop by, refresh, refuel, have a cold drink, enjoy a tasty salad or a great specialty delicious sub sandwich or simply delightful Pizza Dilly wings. Pizza Dilly is also People Dilly because you're friends are all already there enjoying one of Pizza Dilly's giant screens, watching one of their favorite teams, and if you love the Dodgers, you'll love Pizza Dilly, your hometown Dodger station all year round. Come on in, enjoy a great pizza, enjoy Pizza Dilly, the real Dilly deal at 194 East Valley Boulevard in Colton or call 909-370-0242. Once again, that's 909-370-0242. Hi, this is Cynthia Hammer. Listen to my show, Hammering Away, Saturday at 7 p.m. on KCAA, 1050 a.m., where we cool down the hot topics of the week. Tired of spending too much money on an ad and then trying to find your ad in the newspaper buried among hundreds, even thousands of other ads? Isn't it time you got a great deal when you were trying to sell that car, that dining room set, that refrigerator, or offering your handyman services? Now you can in the Nickel Shopper. For as little as $7.50 per week, your ad can be seen by thousands of eyeballs in the high desert, and they're getting the Nickel Shopper for free. Call today to place your ad in the Nickel Shopper, 760-646-3654, or go to thenickelshopper.com for all the details, 760-646-3654, the Nickel Shopper. Now in the IE. Who needs friends or Facebook when you have KCAA's Brant line? You can get it all out at 909-353-1050 with no interruptions. Do you want to tell us how much you're learning from Dave Ramsey? 
Keep your expenses down when you're a student. Maybe you stink. You can't take a shower at your place and you really need to. Work it down there at the uh, largest online retailer in the United States and they had me unloading them trucks. I sure as <laughs> need a shower. Perhaps you're having money issues. Motel 6 ejector rates up, it used to be like 42 bucks. Now they're 59. <laughs> Got about four grand in the bank, but uh, working part time, I, I don't want to whittle into that. Might need a letter. Whatever you need to get off your chest, we are here for you. Give us a call on the rant line at 909 353 1050 and rant. We'll listen, we won't interrupt, and we may even play your rant on this station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA 1050 AM. Bible study with a group of guys, and we were reading through different books as a part of the group. And uh, one of the guys brought in this book called Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. I read the book, and I was dancing in the aisles. I mean, this book is so empowering. It's one of the best parenting books I've ever read in my life. And so I immediately became good friends with the author and had her here on the show. Fast forward now, many years later, we've become great friends. She does the SMART conference with us every year, uh, has become America's voice for parents with a backbone, for parents who love their children well. Strong Father, Strong Daughters was the, uh, was the kickoff, the big book, and then she's written many, many others, Strong Mother, Strong Sons, many other great books, New York Times bestselling author, and uh, really America's mom. She's got the answers for you on parenting, is joining us for a couple of segments. Meg Meeker, Dr. Meg Meeker. Meg, welcome back to the Dave Ramsey Show. I'm so happy to be with you, Dave. Congratulations. Maybe it's on your on your third new grandbaby. Yeah, we just had the third one. Absolutely. Thanks. I, I, yes, I think it's time for me to write a strong granddaddy book. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to read that one because I'm pretty much going to give these things, <laughs> these kiddos, anything they want. I told, I told Rachel the other day, no. my job is to completely make a mess of your children. <laughs> I know. You know, it's, it's a tough different ball game isn't it oh Being yeah grandparenting thing but it's so delightful if i would have known how great grandparent grandkids were going to be i'd have been nicer to their parents i mean really it's just <laughs> wow right. uh, yeah. and you too yeah. you too grandma so <laughs> yes, grandma and i've got you're a little ahead of me i'm getting my second grandbaby in about two weeks so that's pretty exciting well i'm still i'm still believing arranged marriages so we can work this out <laughs> we will work this out and then this one my next grandbaby is going to be a a boy, and I know you just got uh, number two baby girl. Yeah, two, so two little girls cool. the same age, so double trouble down here. So, Meg, <laughs> hey, folks, before we dive into this material here and start talking about parenting, and we'll get, get away from our grandparent talk here in a second, but if you guys have questions about parenting, Meg is the call is the person to call. You can dial in right now. We're opening up a couple of lines. The phone number is 888-825-5225. That's 888-825-5225. Now, Meg, the Strong Father, Strong Daughters book, and then again at the SMART conference, after all the books you've written, you still cycle back around, circle back around, and you still focus a lot on the father's influence yeah. in his children's lives. Absolutely. You know, and, and you're absolutely right. I'm glad you brought that point up because when I wrote Strong Father, Strong Daughters, I knew that dads were feeling uh, a little undermined, you know, bashed down around a little bit, but I had no idea how far reaching um, this, the, the whole sense that men had of feeling pushed to the side in their families, sort of thrown into orbit. And I am more convinced today than I was five or six years ago of the importance of fathers in the center of their homes, not on the side of their homes, not sort of involved with the kids, but in the center of their homes. I believe, Dave, if, if we had dads in their rightful place in the home, we would live in a very different America. 
Oh, absolutely. I, be- I believe that strongly. I, you know, and I and I see that you know I've been working with a lot of the NFL guys and hearing their stories and 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 how painful it is to grow up without a father. And I see so many children who grow up, you know, with their fathers sort of only partly involved in their lives, and it absolutely crushes children. So whatever I can do, I believe as a pediatrician, whatever I can do to help encourage dads and encourage mothers as well, but mothers get a lot of encouragement, but encourage dads, it's the best thing I can do for any of my patients and and all the children in America. Yeah, just just let them know that their voice really matters in the developmental side on the, oh. the all the statistics on uh, whether or not your teenage daughter is going to be promiscuous or not has a hundred percent to do not a hundred percent but a very high percentage to do with her dad's involvement in her life exactly uh, dad's involvement and you know dad's hear that and they think, well you know i don't know what to say and i don't need i don't know how you know how to be involved or how much time i said don't worry about it just bring her into your life jump into her life just be around her do errands with her help her you know uh have her come with you when you change the oil in the car or if you've got a little work to do because that's that's what changes her life is just spending time living life next to her dad not being razzle dazzled or entertained or you know have her dad go buy her expensive this or that it's not to do with that it's just about daughters feel so valued and respected when their dad wants to spend time with them and that lets them live so far above the fray and the 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 you know all the trouble that kids can get into and i believe it's the single most important um, factor in a daughter staying out of trouble is having a decent and hopefully good connection with her dad even if she acts like she's embarrassed or disconnected or whatever she's not she's not listen Many girls, most girls go through a period of their lives where their behavior says to their dad, I am the most obnoxious person you've ever met, but are you willing to fight for, (laughs) you know, you know, but, but are you willing to fight for me anyway, dad? You know, the claws have come out and I backed you into a corner and I'm screeching and yelling and screaming, but really what she's saying is, dad, will you fight for me? Will you stand up for me? Will you help me here? And, uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a a lot of dads, being men, look at this, you know, frightening girl and she's being terrible and go, okay, okay, I get it. I'll just go away for a while. But that's the worst thing you can do. It's not about the dads. It's about her feeling uncomfortable with her life. So, um, you know, that's why I just really want to tell dads, your daughters particularly are giving you a lot of clues in their behavior, and it's rarely what you see on the surface. Now, I know that you really work in your practice, and you've talked about this in your talks, with a lot of teens helping them to stay away from sex, uh, to stay away from drugs, alcohol, and that you teach the parents how to help them. So that's kind of the opposite of some of the politically correct crap out here, which is if we just teach the kids, if we give them enough information, if we give them condoms, they'll be just fine, right? That's sick. And it's it, sick. It doesn't yeah, work, does it? Absolutely. And, and here's the problem. And you know this. I, I've worked with sex ed committees. I've testified at congressional hearings on prevention of cervical cancer in young women. And the biggest dirty secret in America is that there's an epidemic of sexually transmitted infections amongst our youth that's disproportionate to um, the population. It's much more concentrated in the youth because of the sexual revolution. And I advocate very very strongly for parents to be involved in their kids lives to teach them that the real truth the correct truth which is that there is no safe sex out there and and i will tell you a secret and and i've told you this before i was so frustrated working with you know sex ed programs and curricula and trying to uh tell teach sex ed teachers what's really right and there's so much red tape in state uh, programs that schools have they said forget it this isn't working here's what i need to do if i need to keep a girl out of the back seat of some boy's car i need to tell her father what is really going on 
that he doesn't know about. And so I, I put that at the center of my Strong Father, Strong Daughter book because I realize that every dad is wired with just what he needs to keep his daughter out of trouble, but he needs to know the truth. And I did that, and it's, and it's worked Yeah, that and you well. edified the dads and told them that what they're doing is important. So yes. Dr. Meg Meeker is with us. She'll be at the SMART conferences that we're doing. We'll tell you a little bit more about those coming up. And uh, take your calls on parenting questions in this next segment. The phone number is 888-825-5225. That's 888-825-5225. Check out the SMART conference at DaveRamsey.com. For Denver and Phoenix, there are still tickets available. Meg is one of the speakers that day. Hey, this is El Chap Dog of Chap Dog Sports Talk. Join me every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. for anything and everything sports related. Chap Dog Sports Talk, Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. on the station that leaves no listener behind. KCA, 1050 a.m. I literally started my business on a card table in my living room. In those days, I was the one responsible for keeping track of my expenses. And if I wanted my family to eat, I had to make sure the money was coming in. I was a true entrepreneur. Nowadays, I know there's a better way. It's called FreshBooks, and I'm a big fan of what they do. FreshBooks is an online software and mobile app that allows you to track your time, capture expenses, and create professional invoices. It's easy and it works. Find out what over 5 million entrepreneurs and small business owners just like you have already discovered. You can try it free today at GetFreshBooks.com. Just enter the Dave Ramsey Show under How Did You Hear About Us for your free 30-day trial. That's GetFreshBooks.com. And remember, enter the Dave Ramsey Show to get started today. This is KCAA. Tired of spending too much money on an ad and then trying to find your ad in the newspaper buried among hundreds, even thousands of other ads? Isn't it time you got a great deal when you were trying to sell that car, that dining room set, that refrigerator, or offering your handyman services? Now you can in the Nickel Shopper. For as little as $7.50 per week, your ad can be seen by thousands of eyeballs in the high desert, and they're getting the Nickel Shopper for free. Call today to place your ad in the Nickel Shopper, 760-646-3654, or go to thenickelshopper.com for all the details, 760-646-3654, the Nickel Shopper. Now in the IE. Are you a fan of all things entertainment? Do you love talking about your favorite celebrities and those can't miss movies? Do you have a passion for some of your favorite TV shows and music? Hey, this is Brad Dalius, host of the Beat Pod Show. Tune in each week for topics like these and more as I'll get you caught up on all the latest entertainment news direct from Hollywood. We'll check in on the box office and talk about new movie releases for when you head out to the theaters. Every week, I'll also interview the stars themselves, providing you access to the people you want to hear from and to give you an inside look into their busy lives. From up-and-coming talent to some of the biggest headliners of our day, we'll cover them all each and every week. So join me, Brad Dallas, for the Beat Pod Show. Sunday at 11 p.m. and Monday at 3 p.m. Right here on CNBC, KCAA, 1050 a.m. The station that leaves no listener behind. Men, have you been going along just to get along? Have you been misunderstood for too long now? Well, finally, it's a show made just for you. The Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross every Wednesday at 4 p.m. On the station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA 1050 AM. Some people want to deny climate change. Fact is, our air has not had this much carbon for millions of years. There is one thing that can reverse it. I'm Elaine McFadden with Smart Health Talk. Tune in Thursday, 4 p.m. and find out how to save us all on KCAA 1050 AM. Maker is our guest this half hour. She is one of the speakers at our incredible SMART conference. The SMART conference is like a who's who of how to be smart 
If you want to learn about parenting, Meg Meeker will be there. You want to learn about marriage? Uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Les Parrott will be doing that. Dr. Henry Cloud will be speaking on boundaries. Michael Jr. will be there with us again. Uh, Rachel Cruz will be speaking on money. Chris Hogan will be speaking on retirement. I'll be there speaking. We're going to have a blast, you guys. It's money, marriage, parenting, boundaries, how to live your life, how to win, how to be smart. And it's an all-day-long Saturday event. And listen, if you were to come to something like this, you would pay more than what we are charging to hear any one of these people speak and you get to hear them all for this price i mean you would i would charge more than this just for me and uh if i was just going just to do an event and we would do the same thing with rachel or the same thing henry cloud gets more than this for a ticket to the open event so forth meg does so smart conference is october 17th phoenix arizona october 24th denver colorado and it's a day-long event you will leave there smarter i promise you and so uh, you can go to DaveRamsey.com, click on Smart Conference, and get all signed up for that. All right, Meg, are you ready to take a couple calls? I'd love to. All right, let's jump in with uh, Faith in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi, Faith, your question for Dr. Meg Meeker. Hi. Um, actually, my question is, is that we have a bit blended family. We've been married for two years. Of course, we know all the children are local except for one. And this one child has recently came into our lives, and I'm struggling because it's just it's a different and it's a very stressful situation. And I'm torn because I want him to have a relationship with his father. But all of this affects everyone as a whole, especially our marriage. So I just want to know what do I need to do or can I do to be supportive and not treat this one child different from the others? Uh, Faith, can I ask how old he is? The child how, is seven. Yeah. Is seven. And how, how, is he disrupting everything when he's, how is he disrupting everything when he's seven? Well, I'm not saying he's, he's not, the child is not a disruption. No, uh, I didn't mean to make it sound like that. I guess it's just the way that it came about. I knew about the child, but um, that child lives out of state, um, different mother than the other uh, children. And his family actually found the child. It was not something that we were able, we, we had plans to pursue this ourselves. But we didn't get a chance to really work our plan because it was basically just kind of done for us. Does he live with you full time now? No. Oh, so you just see him periodically, a, or how how often do you see him? Yeah, just periodically. And actually, this is the very first time. Um, this is the first time in, in in that child's life that I've actually met him and seen him. And he's here on a visit for a short visit, and um. But I don't know. I don't know if it's the fear that I think that it will turn into full time or I don't know. Okay. How, how, and how old are the other children? They range from 21 and down to the seven. Okay. Well, you know, here's what I would do. And it, it is it is a tough situation. But if it's. If the child isn't acting up a whole lot, um, which is wonderful, um, that, you know, makes it a little bit different. But from your family standpoint, I think that you need to sit down with all of the kids at some point and say, while, the, while he's not around, and say, here's the deal. Um, this, is a, this is a child that is your dad's child. We need to embrace him as your dad's. He's a stepson, too. Um, and then you need to, to teach the kids that they need to include him in things when he's there. It, it particularly prepare them if it does become a full-time situation. If he does come into your home, realize that he has a very different experience in life than the other kids because who knows what's going on in his, in his home life away from you. So he may actually come into your home and bring some of the trouble with him. You need to be very, very patient. You need to not criticize his dad in any way, but encourage his dad to reach out to him during the times that he's not there, to spend some alone time with him when he is there, and then also to include him with all the other kids, particularly the younger kids, treat him exactly the same 
when he's around them. And then you need to be patient and give it time because he is going to feel as awkward about fitting in there as you may feel about him being there. So you need to take the lead here and gently over the next years show him that he has a place in your family, a good place in your family, and, um, and then just take it from there according to how much time you're going to have with him. That's going to dictate how much parenting you can actually do with him. Absolutely. All right, Jenny is in Kansas City. Hi, Jenny, your question for Dr. McMeeker. Hi, my question is about my um, 10-year-old little boy. He is an amazing little boy. Um, my question is, what can I do to, to help teach him to take initiative to do the things that he should do? So, for example, um, if he knows that, you know, he needs to clean up a mess or, or clean up his room or, you know, take care of the animals or whatever, um, what can I do to get him to show the initiative to do it himself versus having me tell him to do it? Oh, that's a great question. Really, when a child is 10, you can't motivate them. You can't really make them say, hey, I look forward to do this. I can't wait to, to do this. All you can do is change the consequences. You can try to give positive reward if you want, but a lot of times that doesn't work. And so what I would do very simply is say, here's the deal. Here are your chores that you need to do every day. Everybody in this family has chores. I have chores Dad does and all the other kids. I'm going to post them on the refrigerator. If your chores aren't done, then you cannot go to your friend's house. You cannot play your video game. You cannot do this. And those types of negative consequences, unfortunately, tend to work a bit better with 10-year-old boys because they have a lot of stuff they want to do. You don't need to fight. You don't need to argue. But that's just the way it is. He can't do whatever it is he loves to do until his chores are done because that's just part of life. We can't go on vacation until we've worked hard, earned our money, and waited for our two weeks vacation every year. You know, it's just part of life. So uh, you've got to get the work done, then you get the rewards. Okay. That makes sense, Jenny? It does. It does. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate sure. you calling in. <laughs> you know, Meg, one of the things I'm seeing right now that I'm looking at, and I wonder about your take on this because it kind of goes with her question. Um, there's all this data coming out around the subject of grit that yes. the uh, that that the more grit someone has is a higher indicator of their success than their IQ it's a higher indicator of their success than their education their field of study it's a high, you know so you can get a kid that has no grit and they have a PhD in economics from Cambridge and they still fail in the marketplace exactly. and so yeah. how you know I, I'm just kind of noticing this I'm seeing people that have I'm starting to look for people that have raised kids that have grit, the yeah, ability to yeah. stick with something passionately and push it through. How do you suggest people install grit into their kids? Well, they have to learn to work. You know, it's interesting because I'm working on an initiative called the Strong Parent Project. Uh, it's 12 principles to raising great kids. It's all online. And, and a big part of it centers around the fact that we need to start building character in our kids and, and, and teaching our kids how to work. And even very young kids can work. They need to understand that being part of the family requires work. And actually, Dave, kids like it because it makes them feel valued. And you need to teach them how to work over and over. They have a chore that they do in the home for 10 years straight, a chore that needs to be done on Christmas Day, a chore that needs to be done on New Year's Day, so that they learn how to persevere through different things. Yeah, I've, uh, I've hired three or four people that grew up on a dairy farm. Let me just yeah, tell you, yeah. they know how to yeah. work. If you grew up on a dairy work, farm, you because th th those cows don't know it's Christmas. <laughs> you know, you, know you're going to be milking think, on uh, at five o'clock in the morning on Christmas morning. Yeah, it's very, very important, and I think that our unfortunately our culture is taking parents just away from that, where we tend to dole things out to our kids and not make them work for things, and then they feel kind of entitled that they didn't get certain things. We need to be doing just the opposite. We need to be pushing our kids into some difficult situations, Meg, pushing thank them to you. work. Thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Look forward to seeing you at the Smart Conference, okay? Thanks for calling in. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.
I'm watering my lawn. Don't you know you can't water your lawn in the middle of the afternoon? Uh-oh, you're in big trouble. Here comes the water police. Well, what do I do now? Tune into the Water Zone show on KCAA Radio Thursday nights at 6 p.m. They'll help you out. This is KC. This is KCAA Loma Linda, the station that leaves no listener behind. CNBC News is next, a courtesy of BuySellMakeOffer.com, where you can post a video about items you have for sale. Sign up now. It's free. I'm Tanya Hansen, CNBC Radio. Stocks are down sharply as oil prices sink. Crude settled down 4% at $45.17 a barrel, the lowest since March. Energy stocks are the worst performing sector, while the oil price slide has airline stocks soaring.